Hello everyone, welcome back to Altria's Plays Pacific Drive. Now, uh, I'm bringing you in at this point, even though I'm faffing around in the garage before I actually start recording, because I'm going to go out and try and find some of that stuff that I really need, uh, which was, I can't remember, and I'm not going to look for it on camera, but very specific one of these places was where we had to go to get a very specific thing that I need a lot of. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go back, oh, there's a Scorch maybe. Uh, so I'm going to go back there. Uh, no, there's lots of Scorches, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go and try and find some stuff in Zone 2, but I expect what's going to happen is that Oppie's going to start talking to me, because at the end of the last episode, she said, I'm going to, you know, when you go out, I'm going to talk to you some more. Brilliant, thanks, just what I wanted. Uh, but I'm going out for fun, not for the mission. So I'll play whatever comes over the radio, but I'm not going to give you any footage of my next trip out. Uh, and then you'll bring you back to join me for when I actually do a trip out to continue the mission up there so I don't know we'll see how I splice this together but I'm just letting you know that there's going to be some talking and I won't have said anything between now and then probably so uh see you in a minute whenever Oppie has something to say I suppose also I'll read this Newsflash, 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 newsflash. Elmer, August 4th, 1969. Strange new footage has emerged. That shows the legendary Bigfoot strolling through a state park near Elmer. This is a long one. On the Olympic Peninsula. Captured by a hiker who wishes to remain anonymous, the 8mm film is remarkably clear and unarguably depicts a humanoid figure of some size moving just within the tree line. Later, we'll be speaking to the local Bigfoot expert, Beth Rosen, who liked the movie Newsflash Beth. I've just watched uh, Matt Parker's video on film sizes, and I now understand what 8mm film is and why it's so bad. So 8mm usually means terrible quality, can't make anything out. Uh, just for a bit of context there. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so marsh eggs and swamp coral are found in the Myers, which is this one and just that one. Uh, and it's tree candy that comes from the Scorch, apparently, which is this one, this one, and this one. So if I go here via all of these horribly unstable places is going to be fun uh, and I can leave here if I want to uh, or I can go here and learn about what that is so wish me luck I suppose so it's been radio silent from Oppie and gang that what I have discovered is uh, there's been a there's a tape in this one so we're going to go and look for that now the <laughs> the storm has started but it's going slowly and there's a few resources that I'd like to collect in this place. So let's listen to this while I grab those. And don't let that thing get you.
It's been 20 years and I still can't go anywhere near accounting fear of any sort. What did they tell you had happened? Nothing. They were all business. Hurrying up under the trucks with boarded up windows. We weren't even allowed back in our cabins to pack our belongings. They breezed us out of the zone. It wasn't until days later when most of us were deposited in an orphanage that well, we learned that our parents died. Okay, yeah, I found a second one, but somewhat disappointingly, I don't think there are any froggies in this place at all, so no resources to get. You should try being here <laughs> and see how your disbelief is suspended. Olympian panel? Beg your pardon? Save this for later. Could possibly be wrong if I can. Uh, this looks like it's doubly armoured, like super armoured. That's amazing. Don't often say this, but I'm glad I kept sucking. Alright, we're back. Got a pretty decent bit of loot. Uh, some decent amount of every colour of... Well, a little bit of every colour of limb. Yes, alright. I'm, I'm doing stuff that's not you, okay, Oppie? Um... We got a bit of law from the, oops, uh, from the cassettes rather than from Oppie and Co. But that's alright. Um, and I did discover that you can get marsh eggs without them being uh, sort of guarded by those big orb thingies. So all in all, a somewhat uh, educational experience. But I'm going to sort out all the things I picked up, see if it's enough of anything. I didn't get any thermosat crystals, uh, which is another thing I'm going to need, probably for that engine, I think. The engine that I wanted is thermosat flavoured. Uh, and then we'll see about following the mission. How about that? Flash Olympia, June 27th, 1969. Describing his actions as downright peculiar, Olympia police have detained the man for further questioning, but say they have not yet pressed charges. Meanwhile, protests continue downtown as federal workers and their families express their displeasure at ongoing ardor layoffs. I'm going to unlock a few things from here, I think. I did want to unlock the... Uh, what is this? 
can unlock the next level of regenerator, which is cool. I want to unlock... The, I've got enough thermostat crystals to do the junction re restabilizer. That's annoying. Uh, let's upgrade this then. I hope it keeps the stuff that's inside it. Guess we'll find out. Uh, nope. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's a lot bigger. What else can we get? Another locker. Got all the materials. New scrapper. We should learn the hammer, actually. We never learned the new version of the hammer. Uh, and we're about to run out of that, so good timing. I need a lot more swamp coral for this, actually. It's not thermosap crystal at all, which is fine, because we did get a lot just now. But, so now we can learn two engines. There's this one, which we have learned, and then there's a new uh, gasoline engine, which we could also learn. Um, <laughs> basically, I could either use the battery that's here, and maybe another battery. I mean, I've got a lot of battery now. Or I could replace that with a spare fuel tank and do the same idea, but with fuel. But, of course, all of these things are charging my battery. Um, so it's a very inefficient engine that I could install. But maybe that's not too bad. Uh, I'll, I'll think on it and get back to you. Now oh, what? No, man, you don't get it. It's not that I can't sleep. It's that since coming here... I don't need to sleep. I haven't felt tired in six years. Right. How much would you get done? Okay. <laughs> These days, I go to sleep because I don't want to do anything else. I, I, I'm done. Let's see what the next day has to offer. I get bored. I need sleep so that I have a, a break between things. Right, I've got a lot of things to look at here. Look how much unstable limb we've got. The, the thing that's locking us out is resources really <clears throat> uh, I don't really care about overheating more pneumatic locker upgrade one of your lockers to make use of an extraordinary amount of underground storage space man how much space do you think we're gonna need uh, we need this we should I should have got more lin magnets oh look how many marsh eggs you need that is ridiculous uh, we should learn this because this is just the the blueprints so we might as well spend our a limb on it. It's telling me to repair my car, but the things it's telling me to repair, I can't actually repair. It's the stuff that was gifted to me by the zone, so it's not repairable. It's irreparable. Let's get on with the mission, I suppose. This could be good to learn, actually. If we're going to have an electric engine, we're going to need a way of recharging it. I don't know if this means that it swallows the energy and therefore we can't have it. Like we don't bring it back, or if it literally just charges the end the, the battery whenever we get an anchor. Can we make that? No, we need limb chips. Can we make those? Maybe. I want to check the price of them first. Olympium frack. We can only make one, so we need to get more Olympium. We definitely need to go out there. Um, but this. I believe it's installed in. Right? Where does it go? Oh, I might go on the side look because it's listing me. Okay. So it's a it's a side mounted thing. It's a new it's another type of charger basically. We've got four types of charger. There's there's more than that. Let's leave. Uh, by the way, the reason I. I, I Pulled apart that because I thought what we're going to want to do is take this magnetic hammer, put it in here, and then make another one. Let's do that. Uh, uh, when I went out before, I didn't have a spare... I've got a spare Liberator Mark II, I've got a spare Scrapper, I've got a sp I didn't have a spare um, 
Crowbar. <laughs> it's sort of broke. Might as well scrap this as well then. And just replace it. What? Oh, hey. You're supposed to catch things. Did you give me stuff? Oh, look how much I got back from that. It's ridiculous. That seems a little bit of an exploit, maybe. I threw away the majority of... Uh, a majoritively broken... Majoritively... A heckin' broken thing. And got back what looks like the majority of the... Um, the what should we call it? The, the, the materials that went into making it. So that seems... OP. Right, let's let's get out of here. Let's see what we can do. I really want to learn the junction from scrambly thing, but we are going here. Twelve hours of journey. It's a good thing this bloke doesn't need to eat. We could go back through where we just were. I didn't like it very much. I want to spend a little bit of time in zone two. I accidentally went through this one last time, which was a mistake, because it's not a very good place. It's difficult to navigate. Um, mm. but I don't want to spend I don't want to go through another wall basically because I did that, do you remember, was it last episode? and we got stuck because the blacksmith ate our car and I was trying to follow the um, the, the, the racetrack thingy the electrical zappy comes out of the ground thing uh, which I think was just Remnants from the first time we went through the wall. Uh, anyway. Don't do that. We could go to this one. That will give us two. We could go to this one. Which presumably... Oh, it doesn't link to it. Look. These run next to each other and don't link together. So if we go... One, two... Three... Four, and then go here. We'll do that next time. We'll, we'll take a trip where we go through a bunch of places. I still need to go back to the Scorch, uh, which none of this is. This is the Miners. Um, just to get some gubbins. Oh, we can go this way. Look. Oh, that seems good. Let's go through this Scorch. I want to get some, th some, some coal that's not coal, whatever it's called. So let's go that way. I'll see you on the road. Might skip to when we get somewhere interesting. Well, I found a quirk, I think. I believe. What's happening? While the windscreen wipers are on, dome light seems to toggle. Oh, hello. Not only am I not able to destroy them, but my trap didn't hold. My lab, call it that, is now destroyed. Honkin changes the volume. On a side note, I need some more bandages. I think so. <laughs> so Honkin changes the volume, and leaving the windscreen wipers on causes the dome light to toggle on and off. Ooh, this way. Uh, it's going to be a while before we're home, so I suppose I've probably forgotten by then. We'll see if it's see if we're even remotely close to right, shall we? Right, let's go here, then just through. Okay. There's a. There's, a, there's an anomaly I haven't recognised yet. Something to do with acid in the middle zone. There's still stuff to learn. I like this. There's plenty that we haven't discovered. Dense acid. Um, we want to find tree stuff. So let's whack this. See what we learn. Vehicle, vehicle. Vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Tree. 
I see tree. Okay, and it's raining, so it should be charging. We are charging. That's a completely broken vehicle that I just chose. This is not a resource, I suppose, so it didn't tell me about it. No, no, fair enough. Ah, thermostat crystals as well. Turns out this vacuum cleaner you know, can be your worst nightmare if you break into that much. Hello. Twisted Ember. Oh. And back, okay. We'll, we'll have to remember to read that later. There we go, tree candy. I don't know where I got tree candy from before, because I've never done that. Um, but we found some, so yay. Must have been in a um, dumpster pill, maybe. That would make, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. I'll allow it. No, I've done it again. <laughs> Keep doing that. I forgot to check to go the way that doesn't involve stopping unnecessarily at a wall. Oh, come on. Pay attention, mate. Well, we might get some Olympians, so we'll be all right. All right, I guess we could try and find a bit of... Oh, there's, there's a tape in this place, which we didn't get last time. We can try and get it this time. We didn't um, screw it up so badly, I think. We can go straight through. Oh, hang on. Look at the state of my car. Let's, uh... Oh, we can't fix that. Right, I've fixed what I can. I've been recording this in sections uh, a few days apart. And I have no idea what I did in the last section. So, uh... So those of you watching this video, you'll be thinking, what is this madman who doesn't know how he's damaged his car so ferociously. But there's your reason. Uh, uh, yeah, grand. So we've got um, some limb we can pick up. I think these just charge your battery. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Because it's raining, which is more than good enough. Um, I could probably stand to stop. Let's search around these buildings a little bit. Uh, I don't like that noise. Oops. Ow. Oh, there's meteors. Great. <laughs> of course there are. Let's move on. And then they just disappear like they never happened. Wonderful. Wonderful. Anyway. You're telling me there's a... You expect me to go in there? Let's see if we can manage it. Hmm. <laughs> we'll try this magicker. What? I feel like this uh, super corrupted limb is going to be important. So I'm going to go and get it. But. Oh, jeez. Look how far away it is. Could we have got this from the other direction? Could we? Probably. Well, we're here now. <laughs> gonna hurt. Good thing we've got a lot of energy and an arc duct. 200 meters it's been. What? No, 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 no. You can't just spawn a blacksmith just because I picked this up. Uh, dangerous behaviors. The things we do for limb. I didn't take me to, I didn't get too much damage out of that. The uh, storm is coming in though, so let's leave. I'm gonna try and get. It's on the other side of the wall though. I guess we can go through the wall. We have to go through the wall anyway. So we're going back. What is this place? <laughs> Just be sensible. Whoa, left, right. Jeez. Whoops. Oh, okay. 
Oh, wait, it's still. No, it's just still happening. <laughs> the way this person is enunciating their words. my discord by the way not yours allow me to silence it i'll be with you in a moment can i get through this pipe probably not i don't know where this uh i don't know where that is it looks like it's on the wall or maybe in it I'm going to not worry about it. We'll come back to this. Um, careful. <laughs> I thought that was more of a slope and it turned out to be a bit of a precipice, actually. Uh, we'll come back for that another time because... Whoa, you can't just put that there! I'm going to give a chap half a chance. I I don't think I can even reach that. I have no idea where it is. Um, and it'll be there next time. So we'll come back for it. There were two caches that flew overhead during the storm, but I've ignored them both. I, I don't know how I can get that um, tape, so sorry. I promised you law, and there was no law. It's a lawless land. Uh, we're here. We need to go there, then there. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there's law here. There's a something exploded that's not recognised. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what the symbol refers to. So maybe we'll find out. Just going down here to get this, and even simple tasks, huh? Simple tasks. Again, it's raining, so again, I'm not worried about my battery, which is very nice. So I'll turn this on. Stay safe from the hot dust to some extent. I wonder if I can make any more putty. Perhaps. Let's try that first. Rather than later. Uh, uh, no. I don't have enough of anything. Okay. Never mind. I won't. I've got my Olympium torch. Olympium torch? Is that what I brought? I brought one of my torches. Um, I guess we're going this way now. And then we'll go. Oh! There's law for you. Let's go and find it. Jeez Louise. Two limbs next to each other that I should be able to get in short order. So they may be worth picking up. At least trying to. You see him? <coughs> I don't see him. Yeah, 
as well. Gosh. I suspect we're not going to be repairing much on the road today. We'll just replace or fix everything when we get home. That's going to be what I'm assuming will happen. Bad, bad idea. Very bad idea. The problem with having two of them next to each other is you get two sets of spawned in anomalies next to each other. Get out of here. I think you know everything, don't you? You little sod. Well, right by the road. <clears throat> we got all the limb from this bone, which is this junction, which is amazing because I hardly got any from the previous one because I ran away in fear. Which was the correct thing to do, I might add, you know, picky battles, etc. That's a repair thing or an electric thing here. Which is just good timing because oh, there's loads of time before the storm gets here. So actually, I'm a fan of this. That's going to help. I've got everything except my light though. Look, not sure I'm scared of extreme conditions anymore. Game. I don't, I don't, it doesn't put me off. Bring it on. <clears throat> Every junction in extreme conditions, call it. Ever since Sierra, you know? Ever since Cappy. Look, there's that exploded car again. I didn't figure out what it is here. It's obviously not something I need to scan. I think it might be a resource so maybe i should use my resource scanner because it's again here i should use my resource scanner then i'll find it okay here we are can open the gateway petrol stability i love to hear it because this is a scary place right let's see what you got to say oppie and francis raining again down, francis. Me? The electrical grid is your department. Rather trust me than have to speak up for yourself? Uh, uh. Guess you're on your own, driver. Good luck. Okay, fine. The regular anchors aren't enough to overcharge the arc device to the level we need. But there's an old anomaly barricade we can piggyback onto. It's archaic technology, an early attempt to stop anomalies from drifting out into the wider Olympic Peninsula. It worked for some time. Until it didn't. But long enough to get the old wall built. The barricade's in bad shape, but what's a little rampant voltage leakage? Not like the ghosts and goblins of the deep zone will mind. And if they do, all the better for Francis. Huh? Appreciate the olive branch, Oppie, but boy, do you have a lot to learn about the paranormal. I'd be happy to give you a primer after all this is over. Ugh, hard pass. I'm far too old for that. <laughs> a current along the barricade in the same way you did it crossing the old wall every connection point needs to be induced within a limited time electrify the entire barricade and we'll have all the power we need you heard him floor it driver well, i'm going to do a bit of exploring but there's no limb to find well, I, i'll just explore the area because there's going to be plenty to do once we've triggered that thing right yeah Also, I still need. To, well, I do want to explore a bit because I need to find what this uh, <coughs> this new resource is. Oh yeah, that is actually really annoying. <laughs> You're near the barricade's operating station. Can you get in there and look around? We need something that will give us the lay of the land. Well, I suppose so. If it'll help, I suppose. Scan that. Let that tell me. Perfect. I'm uploading the barricade right, back to your arc device. By my calculations, if you electrify all eight posts, you'll have all the power you need. Uh oh. 
the sound of this. Ah, oh, scrappy. I, I, I think so. Yeah, I, I ran the numbers a few times, and I. Then get to it, driver. You sound awfully blasé about this whole thing, Oppie. Don't mind me saying so. Okie dokie. Suppose we'll uh. Okay. I'm going to turn this on. So I don't have to worry about the road ahead quite so badly. Like these explodey bunnies, for example, which I now certainly can't scan. <laughs> because not only are they going to explode before I can do, they are. I'm I'm busy uh, playing with me whilst I'm doing a time trial sort of thing. Don't like the fog. Fog's not helpful. All right, it's working. So don't see it. Carry on him. We'll take the racing line. It's a good thing they're along the road, isn't it? Imagine if it just suddenly deviated from the road for no reason. I'll worry about that um, resource later. Gosh, I'm so slow. Get on with it. All my brain can think of saying at this point is why do I sometimes say resource and sometimes say resource? And if that's what you were thinking as well, then I'm happy to have lampshaded it for you. Because that's the sort of thing that can make one's brain itch. If it doesn't get at least acknowledged. I know I'm making good time. Such a good time. In fact, I'm going to have a little break. Okay. I can look after the next round. This is where you need the nitro boost. This junction has been quite kind to me, because that thing there is the first thing that has been good, on the road <laughs> that is significantly in the way, and it timed itself perfectly so that I didn't have to worry about it. I only managed 40 miles an hour up a hill, I used to have a car like this. Would have been nice to have been able to install the new engine by now, but Let's do a quick scan. What is that? I guess we'll be coming back to that. Yeah, because I'm I'm gonna have to go around and come back, right? Even these tourists are kind of standing off the road. Which makes sense. I probably have no idea where they're supposed to be going. Can't read the signs, huh? What was that? Right. You've actually put an obstacle in my way and made me slow down. I know I was saying it was kind of you not to do that. 
wasn't the invitation to then just do that. Why have you made me drive so far away from the stuff that I was trying to get started this week? There. Right, let's do another scan in case there's something we can get whilst we're here. A bit of fuel we can get. I think it's sighting. Okay. I think this is the last one. There's two more. Okay. And the fact that there's a, a gate in the middle of the map suggests to me that I'm going to be making my own way out so I can spend the time afterwards. But you know what this game's like for railroading. You want you on a mission. Suddenly you find yourself in the next zone. Or something. There is an arrow. Actually, so we might not be leaving at all. It's perpetually stable, so we won't be getting a uh, storm. Okay, okay. We don't need this one. I mean, this is a fun mechanic, but they've kind of used it a lot now. I like the mechanic, as so to speak, of just wandering around um, on foot in that, you know, the crucible place where we learned all the secrets and they learned about having to go to this side of the wall and, and what happened to Alan. Glad that's not exploding. No, there's, there's a little bit of variety in that. You two are behaving yourselves. Get it, hit it. Where is it? Oh jeez, I've got to go that way. I'm gonna ignore that if I drive through the can opener, I drive through the can opener. Probably not the end of the world. A drive through the electrified operating station. Yes, but I want to know what this is, so not yet. What are you? What? <laughs> I swallowed my hammer. I <laughs> didn't realise what I was doing. I think I'm supposed to be able to teach this about stuff. Yo. My stuff though. Do you put equipment in it? I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's move on. We'll figure out the pacemaker some other time. And uh, I just threw away an entire magnetic hammer because I didn't realise I was putting it in it. I thought I was sort of using it on it sort of thing. There we go then. Good choice. Arc device readings at 4.2 gigajoules and holding steady. Good. Then we're all set. The arc device is ready to go. It'll hold that charge for as long as we need it. Now what? Pedal to the metal driver. Storm's coming. See, I'm being forced out. Told you this would happen. Hello. That's a new uh, siren. I've not heard before. Just 
Let's go this way. Well, that was a minor disaster. Is that another pacemaker there? They're everywhere. We've learned that we can give them tools. <laughs> don't know if that's the right thing to do. Feels bad, man. I didn't open this gate. Why did you open this gate for me? I didn't ask for this gate. We'll find out next time. What did that do? But now at least we can fix some things. No unstable. We really chickened out on the middle zone, huh? The whale could be a lot. Take your time and gear up. No telling what that remnant's going to unleash. Got a dead tire, so I can't drive on the thing. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Completely wrecked. Just flat. We didn't. Hang on. Get I sent you something, if you don't mind taking a look. Okay. I'm going to do that. Uh, turn it off. Um, we were testing to see, taking with you, whether this would fix. Did it fix? I can't remember if we put things in there that needed fixing. Um, okay. For example, take this off. Not the best. <laughs> Not the best way to deal with the car. Put that in there. We'll see if that's still flat next time. Right. We've got some things to fix. I'll do that. If you've got anything to listen to, you can watch me do that. Otherwise, uh, we'll do it off camera. Now I'm just going to turn a car on a little bit. I don't like where it's parked very much. What are you doing, car? Just drive. There we go. Uh, and turn it off again. How, how do I car? Let's uh, boot this a little bit. Boot this a little bit. Does that mean there's actually going to be a player model in this entire game? Like a, like a human 3D rendered person? Or is Francis going to be like a flipping AI chip or something? Right. Uh, wipers. What? <laughs> wipers stays on. Dome light toggles. Yes. Switches on. Don't tell me it goes left and goes right. I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> Let's see what it does. It must be switched on. You must. I don't know if that's when it goes left or when it finishes going right. I'm going to say when it goes left. Wipers goes left because it happens at, when it's down. So when it starts going left, I don't think it means when it finishes going right. That wouldn't make sense. So then the dome light toggles. Yeah. Okay. Good guess. Let's see what the fix is. An electrician's kit. Oh, I've got one. Is it? It's in the car. So maybe I, maybe I can just do it. Did I break it? No, I did not. Great. That was really annoying. Uh, we are going to Francis's request. Is it in here? No, but this is. Tobias's favorite cryptid of them all. If it's ah. not too much to ask, uh, if you could put it on your dashboard, so Tobias can come along for the ride for wherever you're going. Yeah. Don't feel obligated by any means. 
bet it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't realize I had so many of those, actually. They look like... Alright. This door... Can I just recycle it, maybe? I don't know if I'll get back any materials for it. Um, I'll fix this off-camera. Let's have a look at... Before I forget, I'm going to make a new... Uh... I don't know why it swallowed that. I'm interested to find out. I don't want to Google it. I don't want to check the wiki, but I might end up doing so. Right. Uh, I think that's it. We've got to find our way to the well. We'll go dumpster diving and see what we can find. So let's have a look at this. Um, so we're going all the way up there. That kind of makes sense. It's a long road. We can do some exploring for a, a few goes. I'd like to unlock some stuff. We haven't even been on this place. There's loads of room over here. Put all these places to explore. Um... I'll do a bit of exploring off camera. If anyone talks to me, you probably won't know about it, but I'm guessing they're not going to talk to me until I go here. Um, I'll record it, so maybe maybe I'll put it in. We'll see. I'll let you know if you missed anything, basically. Um, and maybe I'll play it back for you next time. But we've got a long way to go, and it feels like we're getting towards the end. So... Uh, I guess we... we spend as much time as we can exploring the rest of the game before it runs out completely. Uh, let's listen to this. It's time for the lore dump, so we'll listen to this. Uh -oh. I, I could put stuff in there. Morse code. Uh, someone look that up. I can't be bothered. I'm sure that's important. It might be about tardigrades. There's not enough letters for that to be about tardigrades. Okay. All that's left, then, is the logbook, which I've picked up over the past several um, episodes, and I did read one by accident, and now I can't remember what it is, so uh, just, we're going to just not read it again. Uh, circuit cache. Oh, I, st I scanned one of these. I didn't realise they were different uh, a while ago. So I scanned one of these, probably off camera. And here's the thing for it. Telephone transcript. Central Exchange Monitoring, January 15th, 1970. Listen, I've come up with a great new addition to our time trials. We'll still have the old barricade technology responding to and guiding drivers, but we can also tie it into a reward cache at the very end. A prize! The logic is pretty simple to program. As long as we have someone race a vehicle from the first node of the course all the way to the final one, activating each in sequence, we can compare their time to whatever value we can figure and, well, if they beat that value, we're like a little gift. What do you think? Oh, yeah, this is absolutely a huge abuse of resources, but nobody's even using this tech these days, and we haven't had a visit from a management in 12 months. I think I've cost Arden more in lunch and coffee expenses during that time than this little dalliance. True. Also, I feel like the... Time trial was predetermined by the how long the things stick up for. Dense acid. Acid in this part of the zone is especially strong. It will inflict even more damage than usual. Torn apart. The remarkably strong explosions experienced in this part of the zone may shake parts from your car. So this is the one that seems to cause, every time you hit something, explosions to happen. Uh, but it's not what it says. Anomalies. Pernicious pickpockets. Anomalies known for stealing things are even more larcenous in this part of the zone. Steal the whole car. Touch and go. This part of the zone is full of anomalies known for suddenly accelerating vehicles that they touch. Okay. I see. I was worried that it was if you run into something, you start going fast. <laughs> anomaly barricade map. This map found at the top of an observation tower gives a detailed layout of anomaly barricade relay points, which we used. Tools. Crude flashlight. Now this is a proper light source. Brighter, more durable, and longer lasting. This will inspire many a moth as it casts its swaying shadows deep into the forest night. Plasma scrapper. The power of plasma makes this upgraded scrapper almost feral. Feel its fury as it shudders in your hands. Here it's raw as it tears metal from metal. Scrap like you've never scrapped before. Okay. Car maintenance. Plasma charger. Whatever modified car or prod could be put to a more humane use. What if it could help motivate an exhausted car instead of a hesitant heifer? Point this at your battery and reinvigorate your life. Olympium torch. Augmented by liquid olympium and all the fears for it, this souped-up blowtorch blasts out a searing superheated frame that can help reshape some of the toughest alloys in metal. Like gifts, for example. Olympium panel. Heavy, strong, thick, unbending, unyielding. What could possibly be wrong with packing more steel into the same fitting? Don't worry about the knee-melting weight. The car will carry that. Nice. Bobbleheads. In memoriam. Never forget, ride together forever. Kind of looks like you think Tobias sounds like uh, a slice of pep. 
Wave goodbye to the stink of your smelly car and say hello to the glorious odour of freshly cut pepperoni layered atop soft mozzarella all dripping with pizza sauce. Guaranteed to eliminate unwanted odours in 30 minutes or less. Sourced from real pizza ingredients. Did you know? Decap mural. Even in a zone, it's important to take time to be artistic. I wonder if it's got a blue door on it. Right. Lab reports. Something to read. Lab reports number two. It appears that a combination of the correct conductive materials, limb-enhanced electromagnetic induction and a bombardment of electrons can substantially accelerate radioactive decay. So far, the figures suggest we can now accelerate the decay of uranium-235 by as much as 8%, while radium-222 is accelerated by as much as 12%. We remain cautiously optimistic. I don't think... Radium or radon? Anyway... I don't think it's unrealistic to expect to reach values as high as 20%, which has enormous implications for the future treatment of nuclear waste, not to mention what we can do to mitigate the changes we're experiencing in the zone. That would be helpful, because I do keep getting kind of owned by electricity every now and then. So that's, that's that episode. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope you join me for the next one. Um, so whilst I... I had to sleep in here the whole time. Uh, whilst I clean up my inventory and learn to read Morse code. I'll say I'll thank you very much for watching uh, and we'll see you next time when we're going to go and have a bit of an explore, uncover some more places, gather some more materials, unlock some more things because I don't feel good enough about having, you know, a whole bunch of stuff in here that needs unlocking and a whole bunch of stuff in here that needs unlocking. Come on. We can't just finish the game without being completely OP. And I want to unlock my new engine. So, in the next episode, maybe we'll do that. And maybe we'll finish the game and maybe we won't. But until then, you'll find out when I do. And I'll see you then. Bye.